Dr. Henner Fahrenbach is an expert in identifying hair from different animals and has what he believes are samples of the giant ape. It's about a dozen samples, over a dozen samples of Bigfoot hair collected in four states of the United States. They all agree in structure with each other in terms of diameter, color, pigment distribution, uh, lack of a medulla, and uh, lack of banding or tapering. Dr. Fahrenbach examined a number of hairs found at the Skookum site. He identified bear, elk, coyote, and something else. I found just one short, very short hair broken off at both ends that corresponded to my typical Sasquatch hair collection. So far, it's only one hair, but uh, sometimes that's all it takes to be found in the back seat to convict you. The experts also conclude hair patterns within the cast are also consistent with that of a primate. I was uh, extremely impressed by the fine detail of the hair striations, the imprints of the hair on the buttock and the thigh especially, and, and uh, coursing across the forearm. Um, not only is the hair very evident, but the, the flow pattern of the hair is, uh, is anatomically correct. For our experts, there is no question that the Skookum cast is a rare and valuable addition in the search for clues about Bigfoot. Perhaps DNA testing the fruit eaten at the Skookum site will add more weight to the evidence presented here on Animal X. If we're going to prove that they exist, and if they are on the verge of extinction and we're going to do something about it, well, we better prove that they exist or they're going to go extinct without our ever knowing about it. So the closer they are to the extinction, the more important it is to shoot one to prove they exist so the government will have to do something about it. While this special report with its compelling eyewitness account and imprint discovery may not offer conclusive proof, scientists involved say it is imperative that serious scientific investigation follow into the existence of a North American primate species known as Bigfoot.